Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You're probably wondering what I am doing in a robe right now. Well, I am here at night. I don't even know what time it is. I think it's like 11.30 p.m. And I wanted to just show you guys my nightly skincare routine. It's something that I have been doing, especially in the last few weeks. And I really hope that you guys like this video. It is completely different than the rest of my videos here, but it is still related to beauty and skincare and just looking glowy and trying to make your skin look as flawless as possible. So if you are interested in learning what I do to take care of my skin at night, keep on watching. Okay guys, so the first thing I do is definitely put my hair back because I don't want my hair to get all dirty. So I'll probably leave it back like that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this Neutrogena makeup remover. It's a cleansing towelette and um, I love it because it's also fragrance free. These towelettes are really good and they really serve as also like a backup. You know, when you come out from like a long night or a long work day and you don't necessarily have the time to do all the steps of your nightly skincare routine, these towelettes are really, really good. And for the most part, they get rid of a lot, a lot, if not like 90% of your makeup, like for sure. So today I didn't have that much makeup and you know, for now, I think that this looks pretty good. It looks like it took everything off, but you can never be too sure. So what I'm gonna do now is use a little bit of this Garnier Meissler water. I love this. This is um, the waterproof one. So the blue one is the one that removes any makeup that is waterproof, including waterproof mascara. And it says no rinse, no harsh rubbing. And it is for the face, lips, and eyes. This says that it's also good for all skin types, including sensitive skin. So I shake it up a little bit like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and take like one of these cotton rounds. You can get this at your local um, pharmacy or drugstore. And just put it on my eye like this, hold it. And then after I hold it for a few seconds, just very softly rub off any excess makeup I may have. That's a lot of excess makeup. Think about it, all the times that you've used a cleansing towelette, no matter how good they are, you're always gonna have residue. So it's really, really important to take that extra step to uh, clean your makeup off in your nightly skincare routine. Something that Dress Your Face taught me, um, if you guys don't follow her, Tamana Roshan, she is one of the first beauty influencers that I ever got to meet or um, have an encounter with. I went to her seminar and she actually told us that your skin ages by two weeks, which is a lot. Every single time that you sleep with makeup, every single time, think about how many times you sleep with makeup on, that's a lot of weeks that your skin is aging. If I had to choose one of the two, I would definitely go with the Meissler water. It's just that the wipes are a bit more convenient because it's just one wipe. It's not like the little oil with the cotton, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna go wash my face and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that my face is nice and washed, I did use the L'Oreal Skin Expert Clay Mask Washer or <laughs> cleanser is what I meant to say. It is to exfoliate and refine. It removes everyday impurities, dirt, oil, and pollution, and it is infused with red algae. So this is also dermatologist tested, it says. Um, and basically what you have to do is just gently massage it to your skin. And they also have a pure clay mask with the same ingredients. So I like to wash my face with very very like uh barely warm water so like lukewarm and then at the end wash it all off and rinse it with cold water and then i just pat dry it the skin on your face is very very sensitive so the reason i use cold water is so that your pores can shrink and um that's just a little trick also in the shower it's always good to end your shower with really cold water so um it's actually really good for your scalp and for the skin cells that you have. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is apply a Biore face strip. Now this is a nose strip that gets rid of all blackheads. I don't really have breakouts normally but I do have some blackheads around my nose and so I like to use this little nose strip about once a week, maybe twice a week if I have a lot of events or if I have a lot going on. So I just wet this towel and what you want to do is make sure that your nose is super super wet 
because if not, it won't stick. Then you want to go ahead and this is what the mask looks like. You want to go ahead and apply it like so. Make sure your nose is wet because if not, it won't stick on. So once you get it to stick on like this, all you have to do is wait about 10 to 15 minutes. I feel like I look like, I don't remember if it was Mermaid Man or Barnacle Boy, but one of them had like a star thing on their face and that's exactly who I feel like right now. What you want to do is wait like 10 to 15 minutes because you want your uh, little mask thingy to dry up to be really, really dry and cracky almost and I don't know if you guys have ever seen Princess Diaries but this is totally that scene in the original Princess Diaries where the cute guy walks in and she realizes she has a nose mask like this on and she just rips it off and realizes that that hurt like heck yeah this is going to hurt like that but it hurts for like literally two to three seconds and that's it and you'll see all the grossness that came out and I hate talking about that kind of that part of like skincare because I'm, I'm really like weird about breakouts and everything I don't like talking about it but I know that I've never done a video like this so I want to make sure that I have all the right info out for you guys and yeah so I'm gonna wait about 10 minutes for this bad boy to dry up and I'll be right back okay so it has been about 10 minutes the mask is completely dry right now so we are going to start ripping it off I like going for like the edges <laughs> oh my god Okay, so I don't know if you could see that. I'm sorry, this is like TMI, but you could so see like the little tiny like white things. So my nose is definitely clean. Um, and these little black marks right here are just like excess charcoal. So all you have to do is take like a wet towel, just wetting it with my handy dandy sprayer. And kind of like pat in these areas. So my nose might look a little bit red right now, but that's okay. It's literally because I just yanked something off of it. But we're gonna move on to the rest of our skincare routine. Just wanted to let you guys know this is typically what I do most of the time, most of the nights per week. Now this next step is something that I have just added into my beauty and skincare routine and it is the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir 24 karat gold infused beauty oil. What I like to do is just shake up the bottle, make sure everything is nice and like even. So I like to put like one, two, three, and also like down my neck. The neck is a very important. And then just start to slowly massage this into the skin everywhere. And I'm actually doing it very, very softly, especially around the eye area. And as far as the neck, you want to kind of massage it upwards as much as you can. The neck is very sensitive and it's super important to not ignore this part of the skincare routine, please, because it is usually one of the first parts that starts getting wrinkled. Sometimes I'll even put some on my lips if they're feeling a bit chapped, and it gives you like a really nice and pretty dewy effect. This is also super great for under your makeup, but basically this is it. Super easy, quick skincare routine for you guys. It's something I try to do um, every single night, and it's something that you guys should totally start doing as well. It's never too early to start taking care of your skin. That is the number one secret that my mom has passed down on to me. Um, I really try to take care of my skin. I'll wear sunscreen all the time, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so I hope you guys like this video. Leave me a comment down below if you want me to do a video like this in Spanish. And if you have any more video suggestions, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it, and I'll see you guys next time.